This video covers the general operation and maintenance for your new equipment. Every operator should watch this video before using the machine. Provided with your machine was an operator's manual. If you have not read this document, please pause this video and do so before continuing. This video provides information that is general and not tailored for your specific cleaning application. It does not take into consideration the health and safety risks specific to your application. Due to the many and various cleaning applications, the manufacturer, importer, distributor or seller of this equipment is not responsible for its performance. So, let's get into it. Hello, I am Dave from Alpha Clean and my goal today is to make your job as easy as possible. What we have here today is the 43 B20 floor scrubber. Very compact scrubber that we have in our range. It's a 24 volt battery machine. This machine is commonly used in applications like small workshops, some of your aged care facilities, small shopping centres like your small supermarket stores. So we've got two tanks obviously. We've got our waste water tank which is on the top of the machine here and then down in the base of the machine we've got our clean water. So this machine has got a cleaning path of 43 centimetre and a solution tank of 20 litres. So being battery operated, this machine has a built-in charger. So we've got our lead wound up at the back of the machine here. So the charger is built into the machine. It just runs off a standard 10 amp power point. What, what you'll notice is we've got a series of lights here. So when charging the machine, these lights here will tell us as far as when the um, batteries are fully charged. We've got one light here, which is a hazard light. It's, it's a red in colour. It'll shine red, basically telling us there's, a, there's an error, so therefore the machine's not charging. If that's the case, you do need to notify Alpha Clean, but otherwise it'll go through the process and charge it up to a green light. This machine will give you a run time around that two to three hours, obviously depending on, on what your um, sort, of, sort of surface you're working on. And then you're t talking a charge cycle of somewhere between that five to six six hours but generally we recommend charging it overnight so it's an overnight charge these charges work on a trickle feed so they'll just slowly charge the batteries and then the charge will turn itself off once the battery is fully charged so that means it can be left on overnight we've got our water control here for for adding extra water onto the floor so it's it's controlled manually you'll notice here we've got a two circuit breakers um, these are if the machine overloads for example if we're trying to clean a harsh floor without any water or solution. It'll load the machine up and trigger off a circuit breaker. So these are a reset circuit breaker. So if for some reason your suction motor is not working or your brush motor is not working, this would be the first place you'd check. Then we come down to our squeegee. So this squeegee can be raised and lowered manually. So I'd like to go through this squeegee with you because this is a wear item. This can be easily removed by undoing these two handles removing the hose and that squeegee can come off. As you'll notice we run a very heavy duty squeegee on this machine. It is quite quite heavy in weight. The reason for this is that it's it'll never twist therefore it'll always maintain an extremely dry floor. So the key to having a, a dry floor with a suction scrubber is to basically maintain and keep an eye on these rubber squeegees here. So over time these will wear the beauty of this squeegee rubber is that we do get four edges to it. So as this edge wears, we can end for end it and run the other edge and then we can flip it upside down. So you will get plenty of warning as to, as to when you need to replace these sets of squeegees. Now, we do have a few different options available. We do have what we call an oil pregnated squeegee or an oil resistant squeegee. Therefore, if you're using this machine in a, in a workshop with oils, and, and different materials, these rubbers can wrinkle up. So therefore you need to go to a oil resistant squeegee. For the clean, the clean water, clean solution, this here will give you an indication as to how much clean water we've got in the machine. So as you fill the water up from the front, this float, ball float will come up showing you how much water you've got. Your clean water can also be emptied by removing this cap and emptying out your clean water. To empty the, the dirty water out of the machine is simply by removing this hose, undoing the cap and emptying out the dirty water. 
So this here is another service item, which is our filter for our clean water. So any clean water and, and we, along with your chemical will run through this filter. So this is something that will have to be checked and cleaned regularly. It can be easily removed, can be unscrew it, and you'll find there's just a little gauze filter there that can be rinsed under a tap, cleaned, and, and then put back into position. One thing you'll notice with this machine is the bump rails on the machine. This is what allows you to get right up to the edges and run up against a wall without marking the wall. So for compact storage, ease of operation and, and to make it more comfortable for the operator, this handle can be adjusted. That's simply by pulling this lever and this handle can be adjusted whether you want it down low or up high or round to this position for storage. So to operate this machine, you'll find it extremely easy, very simple. We've got a couple of switches. We've got one for our vacuum, as you'll notice by the symbol. On is our vacuum on. Now what you'll notice with this light, once the machine is operating, you've got the indicator. This is our battery indicator light. So green is fully charged, then it goes to orange, and then it goes to red. Now what I want to make clear is, is that the orange light is not a halfway mark it is like your fuel light in your car. So when your orange light comes on, it's really saying finish what you're doing and then get the machine charged up. Our other button here is for our brush operation, so brush on. Now even though our switch is on, the brush will not operate until we pull our handle. So the minute I let go of the handle, let go of the machine, the brush will stop. This will reduce leaving any ring marks in your floors. Therefore, if the operator lets go of the machine, that brush will stop. Now to drop off the brush on this machine, quite a unique little system, very easy for the operator because this is something we recommend you do at the end of each use. So to remove the brush, very straightforward, we tilt the machine back, we've got a little button here which we hold down, then we activate our brush button and the brush will just drop off. So then the brush can be then removed just by pulling it out from underneath the machine. Now please note, we have a series of different brushes. This is our standard brush. We have a softer brush. We also have a harder brush. And we also then have your pad holder, which can run a range of different pads. Now as you can see, very easy to remove. And we would recommend you do this at the end of each use, because you never know what may get caught up in your pad holder, what may get caught up in your brush. And this could damage your floor if you continue um, using it. So then to put our brush back on the machine, because as you can see, it's got a very unique pickup system. It's just a matter of sliding it under the machine. Now it can be put on in two different ways. It can be put on manually, putting it on the machine and turning it, and, and taking it off. Or we can sit the machine on the floor. Then we can lower the machine onto the brush, and by activating the brush, activating it, the, the brush will then hook into position. Then what we would also recommend you to do is remove our top cap and then hose out the tank to get rid of any dirty water. This will stop the, stop the container from smelling um, and just keep your, keep your machine basically nice and healthy. So to remove this cap here, we've got two hoses. We just remove these two hoses. We've got our clip here, which we undo this clip. Now this cap will remove. So you've got full access, we can run our hose through to clean that tank out. Now what I want to make clear here is, is we've got a um, ball float inside this tank. Now this we need to keep an eye on, we need to keep this filter element here clean, because over time this can get built up with a lot of fluff and dirt, and this will reduce the suction, therefore you won't get a dry floor. We also need to keep this seal quite clean, because if this seal doesn't seal properly on the machine, you will lack in suction also. But what I want to make clear is, is that with your machine, we, we want to reduce the amount of foaming you have inside your tank. Now this can be by reducing the amount of chemical or changing the type of chemical you use. We recommend you use a low foaming chemical because what can happen is as our water comes up, it's going to pick this ball up and block off our suction. Now if we have too much foam, the water level will be low, but the foam is not heavy enough to pick up the ball. Therefore, that foam will get into your suction motor and will end up destroying your suction motor due to moisture and your bearings will fail. Now, please note, if this does happen, it will not be covered under warranty. So we recommend you keep an eye open. Try and make sure you have as little amount of as foam happening inside your tank as possible. 
any questions on this, please don't hesitate to contact us and we can um, discuss this further. But we recommend you try and keep this clean. Another, another good thing we recommend you to do is to, at the end of the use, we recommend you turn your vac motor on. Now this can be done whether the, this is the lid's off or whatever, we can run our vacuum motor. Let that vacuum motor run for 30 seconds just to burn out any moisture that may have got into that vacuum motor. As you can see, this is a very compact machine, very easy to use, very um, simple in its operation. I do hope this video is successful in, in view of helping you maintain and operate your machine. If you have any further questions, please contact Alpha Clean. Thank you for your time, and we hope this video has been helpful. Remember that regular maintenance of your machine is recommended to optimise its life cycle.